Can you hear me? Uh. It's no good, Ben. I can't get a line this way. You'll have to lean out further. Farther than this. Uh. Yes, Ben, farther. We've almost got it. Turn the skillet a bit to the right. Stop there. Stop. Don't move. Couldn't we use a little of Ali's flying gig? Uh. You don't really think Ali would use up one of his potions for this kind of foolishness? What do you mean, this kind of foolishness? <gasps> he made it! You see? And you make such heavy weather out of it. Uh, heavy weather? Shh! Hello, Daddy, it is I! Tilda, where are you now? In Acapulco in Mexico, on a cliff as high as the Tower of London. It's quite thrilling. Uh, take it easy, Tilda, please. I have such a lot of things to tell you. Oh, super, love. I just got off my shift at the mine, and there's nothing like one of your tales to help me relax a bit. Well, after you saved us from Ego Khan, showing the whole world what a wonderful daddy you oh, are... Oh, love a duck. I didn't do nothing that any good old dad wouldn't do for his issue. Now, don't be so blushingly modest, daddy. You were super terrific. After you had tossed Ego Khan up and down like a short-order fast food cook bashing a hamburger... Sick. Tilda! We found out through Zenim's astral map that the next fragment of the Sharaman would appear in Yucatan. Huh? I can't what? Yucatan, the land of the ancient Mayans. I could go on for hours on the wonders of their advanced civilization. Uh, ben, don't move or I'll lose the connection. Come in, Abdul Snatchkov. I was expecting you. Do you know where Farhat is to be found right now? Observe carefully. Right here is Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. This time we can surely annihilate him. If you follow my instructions. You know you can always count on my totalitarian fealty. I didn't know you needed hot red pepper for the potion for your flying gig. It's not indispensable, but it gives it that extra kick. Then we should be in Yucatan ahead of time. Come on, let's go pick up Tilda and Ben. Huh? <gasps> what was that? A dumb young kid like you. Impossible. No human being can sail through the air like that. One thing is sure. Whoever it was, you don't need no flying gig potion. Stupendous. They're known as Cascadores. It must take a deal of courage to dive from a height of 100 meters. Quite Come remarkable. Come on, Tilda. Don't get carried away. It's 30 meters tops. I consulted my computer and found out that the Cascadores here are famous throughout the world as being the only men who dive from a height of 100 meters. They're simply stupendous. Quite angelic, actually. Actually, angelic and quite superbly superb. Why do they have it so special? I hope you're not thinking of taking a dive. <sighs> we have a mission to carry out. Farhat, can you hear me? Farhat! As your dozo and sage counselor, I forbid you this Michigas! Can you hear me? Ali is right. Better wounded pride than a punctured hide. Did you see the way she was drooling over the diver? If you ask me, I think she wants him to dive on to her. A hundred meters, about the height of a 25-story building. That's right, Snookums. What's a trifle huh? in 25 stories? Shut your eyes and jump! Farhat, what are you doing there? <laughs> Look, you don't have to prove a thing. She already knows you're a brave kid. Enough of this shilly-shallying. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I'd better stir my stump. They've probably started to worry a bit. Here I come! <laughs> oh, mamma mia! Oh. 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 Don't look so grumpy. You know I'd never let you down. Tilda! Yes, Ben? You see that? Farhat, you shouldn't be standing there. You might fall. It's very dangerous. Isn't that right, Miguel? She is muy dangerous. Sometimes I just don't understand that boy. Now, what were we saying, Miguel? Ah, uh, we're in. Will someone give me a hand and help me dry off? 
by all the dunes of the desert, my claws are rusting. Now, gotta get back in shape. The easiest way is to head directly for Belize and then turn inland. Let's do it then. Ali, are you ready? <laughs> Almost. Because of that stupid Duncan you put me through, I lost the hot red pepper and all the other herbs of the flying gig got soaked. Now I'm gonna have to chew 184 times more than usual. Hold on. 182, 183, 184. Here we go. Flying gig! Try it again. All right. Lion gig! Ah! Howling sandstorms! I can't face another dunk! I seem to intuit that we have a problem. And all because you got me soaked. It's not funny. Now we run the risk of being late for the fourth fragment. It's all your <gasps> fault. If you hadn't been making calf eyes at that kangaroo... The word is cascador. There's no sense squabbling. We have to find a solution, kids. <laughs> and right now. I can provide the solution you are looking for, but I must have a telephone. Uh... There you go. Hello, Ben Gomez? Cousin, this is your cousin Ben Banaban. I bring you greetings from your cousins Ben Ling Wang, Ben Murphy. Couldn't you possibly skip one or two? Hmm? Shh, just fine, cousin. Do you still have that charter flight outfit? And would you be willing to take me and a few friends to a place called, uh, what's its name? Yucatan. Yucatan. Yes? That's wonderful, cousin. We'll be at your hangar in two ticks. Ah, this I am doubting very much, Leah. <laughs> Hangar number three. This is it. Cousin, it's me, Ben. Where are you? Ben Gomez no está aquí, señor. He has gone. That can't be. I spoke to him on the phone just half an hour ago. Si, he left about 20 minutes ago. Who are you? I am his cousin. Did he say when he'd be back? He will not be today, señor. That's not possible. He's my cousin. I have complete trust in him. All I know, senor, is that he took off with a group of tourists from number three runway 20 minutes ago. They'll be in Guatemala for a week. A week? Why in the world didn't he tell me so? We're in oh, big trouble. Hello. We'll never get there in time I just a don't plane. believe this. No cousin of mine would pull such a dirty trick. Are you the cousin who called asking for a hop down to Yucatan? Yes. Well, why didn't you say so? Ben asked me to take you down there in my plane. I was just fine tuning her. Oh, what wonderful hey, hey, hey. news! When can we leave? The prisa, senor. Right now, if you like. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. My name is Juan Alvarez, senor, and I'm always happy to do old Ben Gomez a favor. Well, senor Alvarez, I'm truly delighted to have met you. I don't like it. There's something fishy going on. No cousin of mine would ever abandon me. But he didn't. The fact that he deputized Mr. Alvarez to fly us proves that he was thinking about you. <coughs> Look! Those are the ruins of a Mayan city. Hmm? The ancient Mayan civilization was a fascinating one. They held human sacrifices, but they were very learned in mathematics and astronomy. They invented the zero and built observatories as much as 70 meters high, as well as their famous pyramids. Look, there's one now. All I see is a bunch of oil wells. Quite. Unfortunately, the acid rain of the oil wells is corroding the stone of the monuments. But once oil has been found, greed takes over and carries the day. What you are having against <gasps> oil wells? <laughs> ah, I knew I shouldn't have trusted this. Where is my cousin? In Guatemala, like I am telling. And by the time he is back, you have already dead. Such a relief to be able to speak English without that horrible accent. <laughs> ah, 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 Sally, do something! 
I respectfully remind you that because you got me dunked, I can't do a single potion or gig. <laughs> Just a little something I happened to come up with. Ben, you've uh, saved our lives. Uh, here I come! <laughs> My cousin would never have betrayed me. I knew it. Sorry not to be sharing in the general euphoria, old dear. But without an airplane, we'll never get there in never time. Never say die. I might be able to round up the right herbs to put my flying gig together. Just what plants are you looking for? Your fine honed alchemist must have wisdom, but also... He must not lack the courage to taste herbs he's never tasted before. Here, let's try this bunch of berries. <laughs> Quit laughing, you turkeys! <laughs> this here situation is intolerable. <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> Somebody do something. <laughs> Give me an oib. <laughs> Here, Ellie, try this. Try this, Ellie. It's a fern. What did I tell you? To be a complete alchemist, you have to have the courage to try, try, and try again. Now let's see how the old stinger is working. <gasps> Not even my old master Zenon would be able to make heads or tails out of this stupid jungle. Now take it easy. Take it easy. Hey, careful, I always been very ticklish under the armpits, and I got eight of them. We're wasting time. We've got to hit the road. Which way shall we go? Westward, that way. <laughs> That's why I like the desert. There isn't a plant from horizon to horizon. Hey, wait for me! Oh no! More plants! I can't go on another step. Come on, Tilda. We just have to make it willy-nilly. Look, a clearing! It's about time. I have more scratches on my face than hairs in my beard. I didn't realize we had climbed up so high. This is like a far out place. Look up there, that mountain peak. Looks like Eagle Khan's head. Not an auspicious beginning. Let's be careful. Ali, would you take the van? What will they come up with next? If one bites you, first you turn all yellow, then your tongue falls out, then you... Uh, <laughs> Let's move! Uh, 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 
I can't stand spiders. I say, Johnny will slung for her. By all the cousins, look, others are coming. Run for it, quick! Shall I shall? That's pretty sticky stuff. It works! But there are hundreds of them. And here they come. We are leaving. An excellent suggestion. Won't stop now, Eagle Khan. Won't stop now! <sighs> We're in a trap. Not necessarily. Shadow, what are you doing? Let's lie down, me. You have no other choice. She's quite right. I knew you'd have the guts to be the first, Tilda. Whee! Next! Come on, move it, Ben! <laughs> you know, boss, I didn't have time to have engraved invitations made up. <laughs> Enough of this! <laughs> Spider balls. Only a momser like Ego Cat could come up with something like that. And what do we do now? Quite a choice. Down there, the spider balls, and above us, Ego Con. Solution. Huh? These vines are highly elastic and have great tensile strength. I calculate that they can bear a weight of several hundred pounds, so we tie two of them together as though they were the ropes of a swing and use them as a slingshot. To what avail? We catapult ourselves to the other side of the ravine. It's a great idea. Let's do it. Is suicide a great idea? Have any better schemes handy? Let's go to it. <laughs> Hey, you guys, look out! <gasps> Come on, let's get to the other side of the canyon. Tilda, ladies first. Your thoughtfulness is highly appreciated. Go! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> My ancestral yeah. frying pan! It worked! Come on, Ben, it's your turn! Uh, uh, I'm just a cook, not a hero. Come on! There was a time when I pushed you on a swing, remember? I'm no longer a child, Ben. But I'm still an adult, and I'm heavy! Are you kidding? You're skinny. What if the vines give way? My calculations are always correct to the last decimal point! Hurry up! Is it possible that your calculations are the tiniest bit off? I forgot to take into account that huge meal you ate last night. Oh. Oh. I think I'll stay away from meatloaf for a while. Too heavy. Okay, kiddo, it's our time. The important thing is a good long run up. Ah, <sighs> oh, Farhawks, alone at last. Oh, 
I'm the spider, and you are the fly. And a very succulent one, too. It seems you're about to receive quite a few visitors, your highness. <laughs> what can we do? I don't know, Ben. I just don't know. Let's hope these local weeds are good for something. You thought you were the predestined one, the savior of the world. But look at you. You're a helpless little insect. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh. Hold on, get away! Ali did it again! Ali, what's going on? <laughs> You got a clover leaf in there by mistake. No problem. Now! No! What he has done, this Igorka? Ah! Am I or am I not a noteworthy alchemist? I put together a fully functional helicopter gig out of the local flora in something under two seconds flat. You mean to say you knew those herbs already? Amazing! Well, let's say they bore a certain resemblance to the ones back home. And let's say that a great alchemist must be, among other things, very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody hit the ground! <laughs> <laughs> I am now strafing them into disintegration. No! I am alive by miracle. Don't be so hasty. Some friends of mine want to make you pay for your stupidity! Yet! Yeah. Help! Help! The poor spiders don't know that Snarchkoff is much more poisonous than they are. <laughs> <laughs> the fourth fragment of the Shariman awaits us. Look at that pyramid! It isn't just a ruin, it's perfectly preserved. In fact, it looks new. Matter of fact, the city looks inhabited. Which is, of course, absurd. The Mayans huh? are extinct. Well, there's only one way to solve the mystery. We have to go down there anyway to recover the fourth fragment of the Shariman. <laughs>